You're seeing it right now. It's Apollo P on. And tell me I did a bad job. You did a terrible job. I did yeah. fucking great. You're just rambling. You're I did just, you're great. Rambling. You're rambling. <laughs> All right, so it's night out. It, it's these cam. We're usually we, you know, we try to do it in the morning time. You know when we have the most amount of light. But some things happen. You know some things happen. You know I have to get you know my new teeth situated. I fucking hate you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't eat pussy no more, people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Close your <laughs> damn mouth. <laughs> I don't eat pussy no more, right? <laughs> All right, baby. I don't even pussy. Okay, no we heard you. I'm smile at your coochie. <laughs> it's gonna go wet. <laughs> Stop. Uh, all right. So, so in pop culture news, all right, let's talk about the most uh, relevant thing and the most things that are popping on the news cycle. So, Jay Z signed a partnership deal with the NFL, which uh, you know puts him over control of performances in the NFL and also a social justice aspect of the NFL, where their initiative, where you know it's gonna focus on economic, educational uh, advancement. Uh, police brutality and community outreach and something else i can't remember it okay so jay-z is one of those he signed a new he signed a new partnership deal outside looking in i was like this is a this is a good move for rap's first billionaire jay-z to uh you know help push the industry of the nfl and help the P, help them pr and also use that money and the resources that the nfl has to kind of you know stop a lot of the police brutality because let's be honest america uh, in america football is one of the biggest sports and it's one of the things that brings people together black mm-hmm. white hispanic you know all of them together asian asian i just have to make sure you shut out my people too because right. yeah we exist all right <laughs> so it brings everyone together that's what football does so if 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 jay-z can find a way to kind of get community outreach and, pl- and police or relations in the in a you know, in a unified or somewhat better state than it is already in, such in a highly racial climate that America is in. Uh, I think that's a great thing. Mm-hmm. Um, also, having more black performances and kind of pushing the genre of hip-hop a little further, although they do say hip- rap is or hip-hop is one of the top-consumed music genre in the world. Yep. Uh, let's be honest, it's still not palatable to a lot of things. Jay-Z still might be the first rap billionaire, but is he more popular than Beyonce in terms of uh, branding and name branding? Probably not. You know what I mean? So that says a lot for hip hop. Hip hop has grown, but it still has it not in the place where it needs to be. And so putting on a mainstay such as the Super Bowl would probably be like the best thing. Uh, but he got a lot of backlash from that because, um, you know, I don't like this guy. I never met Colin Kaepernick before in my life. He would never buy me a fucking sandwich. But fuck that guy. You don't like him? I don't like him. Okay. I haven't liked him since he was doing the whole, I mean, the protest was That's a unusual. good cause. The protest was a good cause, but I just never liked him. I just After all of this shit was going on, I'm like... Yeah, f- fuck him. I don't care about him not having a job. I don't care about none of that shit. But why? He just because he's too quiet for me. For a person who's spearheading spearheading the movement, he doesn't say fucking shit. <laughs> and it's like, why are we following this guy? This guy is a mute motherfucker. He doesn't say shit. He's silently protesting. Nah, man. You because you know what? He let the fucking narrative of the whole thing run astray. He he, he did. You're he right. He did. He did. And that's why I don't fucking like him. Well, we're talking about something serious as police brutality, and you're talking about, I, I took a knee, I, I lost a job because I was standing for something. So fix the fucking narrative. It's not about you not having a job, because people are going at Jay-Z because you still don't have a job, and you weren't in line with the deal with the NFL. But you took a motherfucking settlement, and you kept quiet. You didn't let, you signed a non-disclosure, you didn't let people know how much money you got, you kept your mouth shut, and you keep it pushing. That's what you're doing. So... Besides that, all right, you started something, you start, you sparked the conversation. I appreciate you for doing that, but I don't give a fuck about Colin Cap not having a job. Go get, go get this, this, this fucking guy to go wipe shoes inside Lennox Mall or something okay, like chill that. Up. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck because I look at Colin Cap and I'm like, this guy's. A, I'm not gonna call him goofy, but I don't like the guy. He would never buy me a sandwich. You know, I'm riding with Jay Z right now. You <laughs> would know. Jay Z buy you a sandwich? Nah, Jay Z will probably buy me a sandwich. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Jay Z will probably buy me a sandwich. I don't think so. He will probably buy me a sandwich. <laughs> um, no, but I, I get what you're saying. He has been very quiet, and you and, and yeah. I were speaking earlier on this as well. Yeah. How his girlfriend Nessa has been kind of like yeah. she's been very vocal on it, like since. You know what? And I think Nessa's spearheading the wrong fucking thing. And that's I think I think she's involved with the the wrong twists and turns of the narrative that's going on as well. Because remember how the NFL, how uh, everyone was coming down at Travis Scott, and Nessa was like, Travis Scott didn't talk to us about the performance. Well, she did the same thing now. She- yeah, I was like, what? And then I'm coming back to it. I'm like, Jay Z said something pointy. He was like, the. The pro kneeling. Oh God, did you hear that? I burped in the mic. Did sorry. you? Come on, man. You always sorry, burp doing sorry. something weird in the mic. You know what I mean? I just said Popeyes. Jay-Z, come on. 
Jay Z said, "Yo, the kneeling, the kneeling has to stop. Now let's talk about the next step." And yeah. I think Ness is talking about. She didn't discuss with us. Well, move forward. You're a snake. You're a sellout. Nessa, come on. You 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 in the media, baby. Like you know what's going on. And for you to say, yo, you're supposed to consult with. Well, fuck fuck your boyfriend. To be honest with you, but you consult with your new you and your team and Ebro and all of that about what you're supposed to do in the next. Not Ebro. She's just talking about Colin. Yeah, but when Ebro. She says us. She means Colin. Ebro's in that us too. Let's don't get it. Twi- let's get, don't get it twisted. Why is he in that us? Because he, I don't know why, but he's in the us. As Are well. you sure? I don't I, think Ebro's so. in the us. Ebro's I don't in the think us. So. Yes, because when Kanye reached out to Ebro, going, trying to get like a connection between Donald Trump and Colin Kaepernick, Ebro was like, "I'm not gonna do that, fam. I'm not gonna do that, fam." Yeah, but she doesn't mean like. Why doesn't Jay Z reach out to her Ebro and Colin? She just means Colin. Nah, but but why does Jay Z have to reach out to the why? Because because I think her reason being for Jay Z reaching out and Travis Scott reaching out is because. They're black. They sh- they seem to well Travis. I can't really speak on, but Jay Z seems to have s- to stand for like some sort of activism. Like he seems to have he, been involved with it previously, he is. and so they would just. I guess it's more so just a respect thing of them reaching out. Like, hey, we know you lost your job because of this because you're standing up for the injustice of all black people. Yeah. Um, but is it okay if I go in and Come try on, to, you know what the thing is too? I'm a billionaire. I'm going to ask you for permission to do some shit. No, Fuck but you. I think it's just the, again, I feel like the, <laughs> I'm going to need this episode. It's just the principle. Nah, I think yeah. it's just the principle the of it. Prin- nah, I, no, no principle. I, 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 I agree. I will no. say, I will say I agree with that because Colin is the reason there is all this, um, like back backlash and conversation around the NFL. So they expect like if someone's going in, if someone who's black, who's been involved yeah. with the activism, who knows that that's exactly what Colin was fighting for. He was fighting for you, 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 and was, you. B- hold on. Before you go any further, Colin was fighting for what? Police brutality. Yes. And the NFL, the only thing, reason why the NFL is in the car, I don't know why the NFL is in the car. I don't know why a lot of this clutter is getting past the message because right now where we're at as a, as a, as a whole and mm-hmm. as a news cycle where everyone's talking about is the fact that we're upset because Jay-Z took a deal with the NFL and, and Colin Kaepernick does not have a job. You know how far away that narrative is from the fact that, yo, this whole thing was supposed to be about, you know, fixing the injustices of police brutality with inside the minorities yes. and, it, it, and the poor and the disenfranchised communities? You know how far that is? Yeah. Talk, talk about a man not having a job and a man take, partnering up with the... He's not even... Jay-Z in the NFL is not even the enemy. It's the police. Yes. It's the fucking... No, 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 no. It it's the police. It definitely is, but I think what the what the and the enemy is with the NFL is the fact that they blackballed him because he was standing up for these this police That's brutality and injustice. Now. That's a different And so fight. Because, he, they, because they blackballed him when he's standing up for Jay-Z's people, black people, um, and now Jay-Z is going and, and working with them, I feel like that's why she's saying like you should have talked to us i think that's where she's coming from but i will say this so a lot of people a lot of the conversation has been like oh why did he do this he told jermaine dupree not to do this and blah 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 but i think people aren't like mm. stupid do they really think jay is just gonna go in and not push like a different agenda like he said something that um, I read in an article that was kind of like, it was something like we put everything down on the table yeah. and the NFL was okay with it. Yeah. So like, he's going to go pushing for it. However, I was having a conversation with a few of my friends mm-hmm. and like, they said the same thing. Like Jay is going to, like, he has another plan a hundred percent. It's not, he's not just joining it for the money. He's definitely do, doing something to, ch- he's trying to change something. But I just, well, I just told you what the deal, what, what the deal is, right? He gets the, he has control over performances yes. in the Super Bowl, and he's also helping with the initiative that the NFL first started after the whole Colin Kaepernick yeah. thing, which is going to help with police and um, community relations, economic and education advancement, and something else. I forget. But they also, so there's also that rumor that he might be a part owner of a team now as well. What's wrong with that? So a lot of people are saying if he doesn't hire Colin, then it's wrong. Why? Because he didn't have a job for this many years because he stuck up for all of black America. Come no, he didn't. He did. He did. Come on. You're, why are we making Colin seem like this amazing guy? Yo, fuck him. He, no, but think about think about this. Think about this. How many? Because, like you said, the NFL, man, like football, sandwich, is man. a is a big sport <laughs> in America. I hope he never buys me one now. <laughs> Colin, I'll take a sandwich. Never buy me a fucking um, sandwich. Man. No, because think about what you said. Uh, yeah. Football is that sport that brings that unity to the country. Yeah. Um. And so it's like he was in such a popular sport, and he knew that he had that platform to be able to create that kind of attention. Yeah. Not maybe not in the way he plays, but yeah. in in his 
like doing something that they wouldn't approve of yeah. and so he did it yeah. to create this discussion around yeah. it because at the end of the day yes police brutality was a thing but still a thing how yeah it's still yeah sorry it's still a thing but how many people were gonna really like like let's say i don't know there's people who live in i don't know if these towns even exist in america but one of the greatest towns ever with extremely low crime rate and no police brutality and then they watch football and then they see this and they're like wow i didn't know this really happened because believe it or not there is people who who had no idea i'll say it myself like i'm not black myself and i didn't know many black people like prior to when all these videos came out on social media and like seeing them and hearing about them but then like a lot of black people that i do know and that i'm friends with they're like yeah this has been happening forever and i'm like yeah. i had no idea exactly. until it was uh who was the first one with the Skittles and the, come on, what's his name? <laughs> Don't have me looking Skittles? stupid. Trayvon Martin. That, oh, that was where crazy. I like, cause like, I think well, I knew, no, I think I knew even before that with Fruitville station. Yeah. Cause but, I interviewed his mom for well, the station. Well, 2000, well, he, uh, you're talking about, um, Eric, what's his name? Trayvon Martin. No, no. The guy from Fruitville station. <sighs> I forgot, I forgot name. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Grant. Grant. Oh, yeah, so he died about 2008? Yeah, something like yeah, that. So, that's, so see, that's when I knew about it. Rodney I didn't, King was got beat up by police in 1992. Yeah, see, but like I didn't know about this Emmett stuff. Emmett Teal got killed in, like, what, 1920 something or something. Yeah, but see, I didn't, I didn't know about this well, stuff. Like, this wasn't stuff that I was aware of. So until I saw these videos, like, that's what I'll serve as an example. And to some people, that might be like, oh, my God, like, that's crazy that you had no idea. But believe it or not, there are people to this day who probably still have no idea that this stuff is really happening. People who don't have social media, who aren't that plugged in with the world. And so if football is that one thing that they do see and they are plugged in with and they're seeing this, then it's like he's gotten that message across. Mm -hmm. And I think for him to be able to start that conversation is great. But yeah, I was going to say, I think the people who are mad at Jay are kind of stupid for not believing that. I, I think he does have another plan. But the question is, like one of my friends was saying, she feels like the NFL is just going to like pimp him out, give the, give him the smaller things he wants, but not whatever thing it is to stand up for Colin or to stand Man, up for police brutality. Fuck a hot it's not about Colin at this point. <sighs> and for people to keep on bringing but up Colin his name, started the conversation. So, so yes. Okay. Give him the, all right, we got, he, he gets that credit, but what has Colin done since that? Okay. So I what, know what's he's done. What's, we've no, talked no, about, I'm asking you right no, now. No, no, no. He, he I, I don't know. Like you don't know. No, no, no. I, 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 you don't know. You I, don't I don't know. know dates and details, but we've talked about this on hashtag before. Like he gave like 35,000 to like some, like help out with suits and giving, homeless people suits and getting them what, jobs what does black that have to people do, what has and, that like, do with police brutality all this other stuff i don't know but he's trying to help the black community what's Come wrong on. with that so what i'm asking you what has he done to help for <laughs> the help relation between he has the know your rights camp which is helping people know their rights okay when but, it comes to interacting with the police that's helping with so police he hasn't brutality. Had, so he hasn't had any camps where he invited what do you, you know, want him to do fight the cops no <laughs> I'm, not, I'm asking what has he done to help better the relationships between blacks in america and police that are not black you know what have you has he brought them in the communities and, and asked them to do some fundraisers and help with the no he hasn't done shit i'm gonna look it up right now he hasn't done shit i'm gonna look it up right he now just, he's just he's just out of a fucking job he's getting ei man colin kaepernick get e fucking i man police that's why he can't buy me no fucking sandwich man See, I just... What's it, what's it say on Google? What's he say on Google? Okay, it what's says... What's it say on Google? Because he just has him donating shit to do different causes, and he hasn't really done anything. Then fuck him twice. And Freddie and Freddie Gebb said fuck him too. And then he doubled down and said fuck him again. I mean, I'm like... I'm riding with Jay-Z. Okay, I can't find anything right exactly. now. Exactly. You're, you're putting me on the spot. That's why. I don't know. You was going to ask me these kind of questions. Yeah. You, but no, I don't think. You stand no. up for a man who hasn't done shit, mm -hmm. but take money and kept quiet. He's and let his he girlfriend run shit, here. Though. He started a conversation. But yeah, I think uh, he just, I, I don't think what what he's doing is wrong. I don't, I'm not saying fuck Colin. Hey, man. He started something. And what JD said, like, oh, he t I was going to take the same. Di After I, I sat down, I listened to it. I, I, I then I pondered. And I was like, why would the NFL want to come to JD, Jermaine Dupree, and ask him to do certain things? I'm pretty sure the deal that they told, whatever they told, if they ever spoke to him, because some people lie, uh, if they ever spoke to him, they, it probably wouldn't be no significance like Jay-Z. No, definitely no, not. No, because Jay, I'm thinking. Jermaine Dupree does not have I'm, that kind of a 
I'm thinking audience. I'm not saying he doesn't have any type of audience. J- Jermaine Dupri has done some ma- remarkable things in the music industry, but I'm just sitting back. Is like, why would Jermaine Dupri spearhead something that's going to help with the black community? I'm not saying that J- Jermaine, ha- J- uh, Jermaine Dupri hasn't done anything for the black community, but I'm I don't think that's his thing. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying, and he's just, he doesn't have that same. He's on the same pedestal that Jay Z's on. Yeah, but that's in terms of money and and, and fame and stuff and like profile that. And profile and, and profile audience. And but I'm saying Jermaine Dupri has done a remarkable thing. I'm not taking anything away from. Him. I'm just taking. A, he's not I'm, listening. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm just. Yeah, I'm just keeping 100 for people who are real hip hop heads. But I'm just saying Jermaine Dupri. I was like, he doesn't seem like the type of person you would want to uh, enlist on your team in terms of yeah, let's do the black community right if he just said all the stripper girls are rapping or strippers or rap strip, yeah strip, rap, yeah rap, yeah strip. yeah strap you know what i mean i'm just saying maybe he's sometimes out of touch about certain things you know what I mean? maybe um but yeah i don't know i don't really think uh i think there will be a bigger agenda behind this i think we yeah. just need to give him time to implement it and i think that's what it is a matter of um which do you want to talk about next? I, feel uh, like I mean, everything else I put on here relates to it. But a lot of people, kind of are, already... a lot of people just don't like like what Jay Z did, and a lot of people are really fucking with Jay Z. I'll give him time to work it out. I just truly I don't believe. I don't believe that he is just doing this and not like he's just doing it for the money. I don't believe that. I honestly think I think the conversation even shouldn't even be about if he's doing it for money. I was like, he got a fucking backing behind him as Guna Roxy, and it has deep. Well, I haven't. We don't know the details, but it has. Information is going, all right, the initiative is going to help with this, 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 and that in terms of helping with the, the inner city community. Is it going to happen? I believe so. Is it going to happen overnight? No, nothing happens overnight. But give it time. If you think something's going to change over a year, then you're, you're, you're fooling yourself. You okay. know what I mean? Because it's been, this is ingrained inside American history for years. This is yeah, exactly. It's, not gonna, it's gonna take a long time. Yeah, but you, you gotta sp- I just want to see what kind of agenda he's gonna push once yeah. this actually, the season actually gets started. You gotta call. I call Jay Z the spook who sat next to the door, right? If there's a movie called Right That, it's like you're laughing, but it, that's you're, you're laughing, but it's a real serious movie. That's I know, I know that's the what movie. Jay, that's what Jay Z is, the spook who sat next to the door, and I think that's why people are criticizing because he thinks he's a cello, but in actuality, he's actually behind the scenes pulling the real strings like the trapetto you know what i mean okay all right go watch that the spook side by the door if you never watched it before uh when did william get denied access to a 50 cents uh tycoon party <laughs> apparently it was a big ass party like, i saw like, some snippets of it, it was, like, not a, a lot party. it wasn't no cucumber party thank fucking god ew speaking of i've been starting to see people put corn into their vaginas yeah i saw that that is nasty i, I just want to know like do you guys think about uh, one how that's fucking with your ph balance yeah. two uh that thing grew in the fucking ground you probably didn't wash it so what are you really putting inside your vagina and Earth, three like you you're probably gonna the you're probably gonna cause like some sort of like nasty thing to happen yeah. whether it's like bugs and shit because people get maggots in their vagina yeah. if you have sex with a dead person you will get maggots in your vagina i've heard stories um so i just don't think like it's just nasty like why i just don't get i just i really 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 don't get why you don't just get fucked on in the party or go get some real fucking dick like just it's not that hard to get real dick i i don't understand like (laughs) you can hit up literally anybody and get real dick instead of putting a cucumber or fucking corn it's just nasty that's how you reserve your body count you know who gives a fuck like you are more nasty to me if you're putting cucumbers and corns in your vagina if i was a guy i would not have sex with someone who put cucumbers and corns in their vagina next thing you know you're fucking on a girl and you're getting little corn pieces on your dick i feel you um anyways tycoon party yeah, so they're not actually, because obviously Wendy's beefing with 50, and 50's beefing with Wendy, and, and 50 has one, no parts of Wendy. And so she pulled up, thinking she's about to get in, and it was like, nope! Yeah, she's stupid for that. Yeah, I don't know why she did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> she's trying to be a hot girl song. All right, my question is you real quick. You know, do you look at a relationship as an end to a mean or as an end to itself? Why are we talking about this? I'm just again? asking you right